All right. I think there's another amp in here. What do you think? Let's see. What is it? Here. By the way, this knife's razor sharp. Oh, 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 what do we have here? Let's put the spider claw away if I cut myself. Oh, yeah, very easy. Unboxing, huh? Oh, 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 what does that say? Uh-oh, not another one. Let's see. Back. Let me open this. Let's open this. Now, honestly, I thought this lamp was going to be a lot bigger. Okay. see some rust here in the corner. Anyways, I'm not going to review this thing. I'm just going to open it and introduce it. And then... That's what we're going to be working on. What's up with that? Is that a mark? Some kind of acid or something? That wasn't in the photo. Shit. Yeah. Ooh, it smells really nasty. Oh, that is nasty. But anyways, there's a new project. All right, new project. And I need a bigger um, workspace. But, as you can see, it's a Zapco, old school. You can tell by the fins. This one don't have the mounts here. I will be building those uh, for your for your hookup, for your supporting, supporting uh, mounts. As you can see, this one doesn't have a fan as well. It is a 350.2. Seen it online, and I bid on it. And uh, yeah, man. man, hectic. A lot of people were trying to get this damn thing. I actually wanted the bigger cousin of it, but uh, I didn't get it. Uh, it went over the retail value, and it needed to be repaired on top of it. <laughs> so yeah, I was I was all set with that. Upside down fuse. These are weird marks. See that? It's like embedded into the finish. You can tell by the screws; they haven't been really used much so I'm hoping that this thing is uh, barely used I did get this as for parts or repair so I'm sure that there's something wrong with it all right so the first things first let me get this other screwdriver I'm gonna take it apart Is not bad. Part of my thing is I was working on a knife yesterday. Did that video in case anybody's looking for it. I believe that's all the screws up top, and I just got to do the sides. You're not going to be able to see unless I do it this way. A little inconvenience on my end, but hey. I think that's what I uh, applied for since I have this YouTube channel. Uh, some corrosion on these screws here. Uh, this the screwdriver sucks for these screws. Let me get this other one. That's better. Okay, so that's that. Hopefully nothing spills on me. Let me just go like this in case there's a roach in there. You never know. Just get off get out this side now. Man, these things are tough. Okay. Let's look at this. A little bit got beat up right there. You can always flip it around, maybe use this for the other side. And yeah, there we go. Always thinking. See that? All right. I'm gonna. It's gonna be 
upside down for you because I need to see what I'm working on over here. So, all right, that's all set. Let me just clear this out so I can have some room here. Man, I'm going to take this out of here for now. For this video, it's just going to sit up there. And of course, this is going to be in my way, right? Here we go. That's good, right? How's that? You guys see a little better? Yeah, nice. Okay, so here we go. Ah! I'm getting screwed over here, literally. I just got to put these screws a little more down. They're hitting the, the head. Okay, that should be it. Yeah, no. Wow, more. You know what? Let me just put them all down. Okay, moment of truth. There we go. Oh, I never seen that before. Check that out. There's a label in here. See that? Wow, wow. That's different. Never seen one of these labels in a Zapco. Oh. Wow, this is very clean, the amp. Oh, look at this. I wonder what these are for. Let me see something. Oh, they're for the fuse. They're... Let me just set them off to the side. Oh boy, I think I see something burnt over here. Not sure what these are. These are like uh, resistors. Hmm, interesting. Wow, so different from the uh, 750. It looks very easy to fix, but you never know. Here's some corrosion over here, and also on the. Um... Oh, I gotta get used to this angle. Corrosion here, also here. All right, so I guess the first thing to do is, I'm gonna leave it like this so you can see on that end. There you go, you can see better that way. Let me look at this cover. Okay, so 12 volt is on that side, and that's the side where it has corrosion, so hopefully nothing's wrong over there. First thing I do is I'm gonna check to see if these are capacitors on this side is being charged up. Uh-oh. Oh. Or maybe that's remote. Oh boy. Oh, you know why? Ah, one of you guessed it. That's right. Always put a fuse back in, man. When you're testing. How are you supposed to test it? <laughs> okay, here we go again. Positive, negative will be there, maybe. So far, so good. Let's see. Alright, it's not dropping. It keeps climbing. That's good. So we know that the power section should be good. I'm happy about that. All you need is pliers. Lift it right up. the rest. Takes a while. How about this? Okay, 20 there. Uh -huh. This one should be as well. And this one. All right, so everything's looking very nice. This one's really stuck, huh? There we go. Ooh, too much. You gotta be careful. There we go. You know what? I think that was working out fine. Just put it to the side like that and just slide it out. Yep, that's the way. Good. It's getting caught up on something. Got one side out. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Oof, that's 
on. Alright, file that heat sink off to the side. I'm going to let that down. Oh yeah. Okay, what else am I missing? Yeah, it's hot in this office. It's, uh, it's like 90 something degrees. With AC. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the, the heat. Yeah, you see, this was changed, that was changed, down here as well. I don't know what happened here, but something ha happened here. Uh, I think overheating over here on the uh, power source. So quite a bit of uh, activity going on over here. Now what I'll do is just go like this. That way I pick it up onto the cloth instead of spreading all over the desk. See? Flip it over. Do it again. Dab and pick up. There we have it. Looking a lot better, right? Yeah, right. Put the hand up. Trash area. Let me get the other camera on here. Okay, second camera is on. Let's reflow this whole area here. Power supply. Especially this remote. Somebody touched this. Not looking too good. There we go. I just popped it back into place here. That's better. Two matching feet. Now I just gotta do the edges because they're not matching.
as I'm looking. Came out pretty good. So, how I envisioned this. At first, I was going to put it like that. But it's going to be like this. Outside. And why I have that swoop, it's going to meet right in between these two fins. These two little vent holes. It's going to come up, up. That gives support. Because you don't want to go down here. It's going to be flimsy. So, a lot of meat giving support. And I want it to breathe instead of coming straight across. I'm going to paint it now. And get it nicey nice. And of course, that's aluminum, in case you didn't know. Everybody's working and at school. There we go. Okay, we're almost there. Just gotta go over this little bumper here. Yeah. Ooh, what was that? Give me a second. My hands are all dirty. Grabbing. Grabbing it all over the place. Let me see what's going on. Um, da -da 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 -da. Should be good. What's it hanging up on? Uh, probably this one right here. Before I put the first clamp down, what I always do is clean the top. Okay, that's one thing. But most importantly, we're going to place the cover back in just to confirm that we're in the right spot. Last thing you want is to put up the clamps, and then all of a sudden you go put the case, and you're like two millimeters off to the right or left. That would suck. So, never let that happen. As you see, thermal paste everywhere. Stuff is... Okay. Now the cover. Place the cover. Make sure you're lined up. Now why am I not going in? Oh, that's why. These came up. these covers on make sure you don't damage your LED light because you could snap it if you force it and it's not in the right way okay, like this good and then here okay so um I'm in the right spot one shot perfect okay now let's see if I can get this yeah take it out now you can put your Make sure you always clean your clips. In this case, uh, they're not too bad. Okay, I just placed my first clip. All I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna confirm now. Now I know I didn't slide it, but. You always want to confirm your placement once again with your cover because you never know anything can happen. Okay, we're lined up, we're good.
and you can go downtown with these clips. Now these clips have the long side and the short side. The long side goes in the back. Don't forget to tie in your bolts. All right, I got the mounts all done, all dried up, ready to install. Now the final touch is fuse. There we have it. She is ready to rock and roll. Alright, so she's been on for quite a bit. And she's doing awesome. I'm telling you, that thing's like new. Highly used, great shape. New legs, new feet, mounting gear, of course, custom built. She's ready for another home, or should I say vehicle. So guys, gals, thanks for watching this video. On to the next one. Cheers. <laughs>